And the secondary question I'd like to ask you is, do bearded dragons need to be bathed? So, when you say need to be bathed, depends for what reason. If they walk through their feces, yes, bath them. Um, but the general, the keepers that bathe their bearded dragon so they can defecate um, is, once again, that's a that's trying to solve a problem that's caused by poor husbandry. Um, you know, it's that they're, they're not defecating because the temperatures aren't high enough um, to digest properly and move everything through. Maybe they've got secondary back got to, uh, parasite infections, not enough UV, stuff like that. And, you know, putting them in water or it, it makes them use their whole body. So, you know, it's going to move the gut contents through and go to the bathroom. But if your husbandry is correct, you should not have to bath them at all. Um, it's it's not something I've seen a bearded dragon in the wild in the water once and that was only because we chased it and it swam through the water um, I've never witnessed one sitting in a puddle of water um, but having said that you know it, it could have been drinking from the water I, I'm not quite sure it, it had plenty of opportunity it could have done that just like you know, if you put a water bowl in your enclosure, it has the opportunity to drink. So, um, but yeah, but bathing a dragon for it to go to the bathroom, to the toilet, is any animal you keep. If you have to do that for it so it can go to the toilet, it's a welfare issue. It should be able to perform normal bodily functions um, on its own. And an animal that's not doing that, naturally, you should question, one, there's something wrong with the animal, or, and, you know, and so you need to fix it, whether it's genetic, it can't naturally do it because of some genetic problem, or your husbandry's wrong. And Some people say that they bathe them to hydrate them and they can absorb water up their cloaca. What are your thoughts on that? So... I guess um, there's a video, which I did, an experiment, um, where I bathed the dragon in um, contrast solution, uh, which would pick up if it did absorb um, any fluids up through its cloaca, and it didn't at all after one hour of bathing um, and taking an x-ray. Um, and it's not, it's not a natural way for an arid animal it's far more effective for them to drink water and absorb it through that route than it is to go up the other end because it's, it's, they're designed to take water in through their mouth. Um, just like most animals, um, that a terrestrial arid species. So, um, if you bathe them, it gives them an opportunity to drink, which, you know, but most of the time, if your husbandry is correct, um, they should be getting enough from their food and we feed them way more than they would get in the wild. Um, so there shouldn't really be a reason. Um, ways that I've actually given water to my bearded dragons is to mist them down once a week and let the water droplets go on them and they'll happily lick it or they'll lick where the puddle is formed in a bit of a log or something inside the cage. And, um, that's, that's actually an, a natural way if it rains out in the wild and where a puddle forms on a log or just next to where they're basking, they'll come and lick that. So that's much more natural and they seem to respond to that better than just having a bowl in there the whole time. The clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had Beardivet on the podcast. If you want to find the full podcast episode, you can find that up here. Or if you want to carry on looking through the Beauty Vet Explained series, you can find the rest of it down here.